Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I want to show you guys how to make white borders on your images and I noticed that um, on YouTube there wasn't any tutorials on PageShot Pro the um, X8 version. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones, Adobe and, and whatnot, that showed up on there um, but there wasn't an, a tutorial on how to do one for this version so I wanted to show you guys how to make it. I guess this is the best way I found out how to do it. So this is just an image of uh, my hand and I'm trying to feed my my fish basically some food here so um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this white nice borderline along the images or any images that you guys want to use for your YouTube um, clips alright so uh, this is the final one so this is the original one so I'm gonna show you guys real quick um, if you go on to the left hand side here you are going to select this drop down menu and you're gonna hit smart selection brush so right now I have it no, you can do 20, whatever. You can change the size of your brush. So this is the brush size here in terms of like how big it is. 20 is a pretty good number. Tolerant is um, the acceptance of terms of like how far apart these colors are and how they're going to select it. So 15 is a good starting point. Uh, you may need to zoom on some images. You may need to um, also increase this tolerance, decrease the tolerance. It's up to you. You will have to kind of play with that. So First off, um, if you notice, you can probably click and drag initially, and this this pretty much matches um, any color that's similar to what you're picking here. And if you kind of highlight over all the stuff that you want, you'll slowly see that it grabs everything that you need. Okay, and then once you let go, it automatically has this pre. Um, selected for you okay so for this image it was actually pretty easy because they actually selected everything because the color of my hand and the actual food is different from the background color sometimes it blends in it's a little bit harder so let's let's say you wanted to just grab your hand only and not your food so if you use here and you press and hold down control you will and select the area that you don't want highlighted for example this it will start to de-highlight the areas that you are not interested in. So for example, you gotta continue to hold down the the alt or the control and you can deselect and highlight all these and they'll go away. Um, and then for these ones you have to zoom in and you can change the size here um, and you can get closer to the edges here. They're like that. You see okay you see how this one here it kind of grabs it misses my my finger a little bit because these colors they kind of start to blend in a little bit like that you see you can control Z to um, to kind of undo your thing and if you hold uh, shift down you can try to add some of this area back and it doesn't work and control Z and try to do that and this, and this is a tolerance that you can change okay so that's that there right so once you have this highlighted um, what you're gonna do is over here on your right hand side this image here you're gonna right click duplicate now what you do what you did here is you basically made a copy of this and what you have to do now is under selection you're going to invert the actual um, image that you are highlighting you're going to hit delete your delete key and you won't see anything here because you have two images of the same copy here and if you click this little eye it'll hide it and it'll show you the actual one that you're working on that you actually deleted everything else now you go back you hit invert again there's a shortcut if you want to learn the shortcut invert that and then under selections modify expand so I have this preset expand to 20 20 is actually a really good a number for your thumbnails and this is actually where if you because the image is so small uh, when you look at YouTube you kind of need a thick borderline. If you do anything smaller, it won't you won't see it. And you, I may even suggest even going up by another five or ten. Um, the thicker you can actually see it. So now that it's highlighted like that, you can go over to your fill icon over here, fill, and then make sure that these are white or whatever color you want. You can actually pick whatever color you want. You know this 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 time it's white. You can click on the area here that will select it in this area here and it will make it white you can even do blue if you want to do blue whatever you want right it's, it's your call and now if you unclick the background boom 
it highlights your hand in blue here. You hit none. And like I said, um, oops, let's do hand. And like I said, you see how this is not as good here, grainy. Again, you'll have to you you'll have to play with the tolerance to try to get you know this as smooth as possible. But um, you know this is just an example of how to do uh, a white borderline or a borderline on the images. All right, guys. I hope that this tutorial helped you guys out in making white borderlines. Um, this is for Paint Shop Pro X8. Um, this company actually recently bought them out, so um, all the newer versions are going to be similar to this. So um, this is how you would do it on you know one of these programs here. So um, let me know what you guys think, and until next time, guys. Peace.